Well, okay, everybody, here we are. It is just lovely as usual. And I'm just kind of joking around here. Let, let's, let's, let's have a look at what's going on here. So, yes, Monday, May 2nd, 2022. Stock futures are slightly in the red as I am doing this video. Blog trading doesn't start for about 35 minutes. Okay. That's not the story. Let's look over at the debt market. The debt market right now, 10-year yield more specifically, 2.94. Okay. I don't think this, this is a surprise to anybody. We're going above three. This is the market pricing in rate hikes moving forward. This week, we're going to get Wednesday, as a matter of fact. We're going to find out what the Fed has decided to do. Like, they don't know already, duh. Okay. Uh, we're going to get a 50 basis point hike here. Count on it. All right. The relative, okay, the comparative strength in the dollar is higher today. Imagine my shock there. I'll tell you what's going to be interesting today. The MMRI, the Manorino Market Risk Indicator, it's probably going to jump higher this morning. Yes, risk has been rising in this market, and it looks like it's going to get worse. Now, again, people, this is not a crash indicator. It measures risk based on debt. All right. Anyway, let us move forward here. Gold, silver, and crude oil are under pressure this morning. Um, some of this is on the comparative strength of the dollar. Maybe I should say that instead of relative because I continue to get questions about this. I'm not covering it again. So... Gold, silver, and crude under pressure. The setup for the market this morning is not really too lovely. Uh, we know what happened recently. We did break through to the downside. A critical level with regard to the S&P 500. We are in, by definition, a technical correction with regard to the S&P 500. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Let's see how it plays out. Is it going to get worse? Certainly may. Uh, we're 13% off the high with regard to the S&P 500. And um, anyway, look, it's freak show. We got to ride this out and we will. We're going to get through this like we have gotten through everything else for freaking years and freaking years and freaking years. Uh, we're not going to change our strategy yet, people. There's nothing major going on here in the debt market. We don't see a meltdown over there. Uh, but we're going to keep our eyes on these things. And all we keep hearing about is crisis after crisis after crisis. More talk this morning. CNBC, Bloomberg, energy crisis, food crisis, cost of living crisis. Meanwhile, I mean, it's, just, it's just too insane. All right, so we're in a cost of living crisis. This is not Greg Manorino. This is the mainstream propaganda ministry. All right. So this morning on Bloomberg, the talk is, oh, consumers are so strong. And do you know how we can tell? Because they continue to borrow and they continue to spend. But what they're not telling you is people are tapping into every bit, the middle class, every bit of of savings that they have. They're being sucked completely dry. What else did we find out yesterday? I mean, foreclosures, year over year, up 134% home foreclosures. Yeah, this sounds great to me. What kind of a twisted, distorted reality are, are we living in? Or are they trying to convince us again that what we are seeing is not real? Make it up. Make any of this stuff up, people. It's impossible to do, and you can count on that. Anyway, so look, the real story this week is what's going to happen on Wednesday with the Federal Reserve. If I'm wrong on this, I won't believe it. I sincerely won't believe it. Um, we will be getting a rate hike, and there's all this speculation as to whether it's going to be 25 or 50 basis points. I can't see a way around the Federal Reserve not doing a 50 basis point hike to the federal funds rate. We're talking about the overnight lending rate uh, and the market. You can see how it's pricing this in. And this, this, there's some fear here in the, in the market. Um, but again, 
if you sit back and you look at the bigger picture, for which, believe me, the Federal Reserve is paying close attention to, excuse me, my nose is itchy, our economy is cratering. The Fed knows that. Um, and they are doing this by design, on purpose, and that at the same time, they're, work, they're trying to work a balancing act in an attempt to keep the stock market propped up. Asset purchases, the Federal Reserve ballooning the money supply, this is not going to end. Uh, so just keep that in mind here as, as we move forward. Anyway, look, that's, that's really the key stories this morning. So let's just recap real quick. Stock futures, again, a little bit lower this morning. The setup for the market, not great. Looking at crude oil. Uh, gold and silver getting a hit, taking a hit this morning. Uh, cryptocurrencies are down a little bit as well. Could this turn out to be a major pan sell-off today? Could we lose another 1,000 points here? With regard to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, where everybody looks, I don't understand that. Okay, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is the 30 companies, people. You got to look at the broader market or the S&P 500. They, look... The, the whole thing here is to get people to focus on things that they shouldn't be focusing on. Uh, and it really is the broader market. Everybody knows that. But of course, focus on that Dow Jones Industrial Average. Anyway, I, with that said, that's where we stand today. And uh, I hope you got something out of this video blog. Just real quick, a huge thank you to those of you who step up and support my work every month. Yesterday being the first of the month, I asked you to please support my work. Some of you did. I appreciate that very much. It's a fraction of a fraction of you who actually do support my work. I want you to know that. Uh, and believe me, I appreciate it. Uh, anyway, with that said, I got your back. I love all of you. Please share this video. Get it out there. And I, again, as always, I want to hear from you. Tell me what you think is going on here, where we're going. Uh, look, together we are stronger. All right? This isn't just my thing. You all know that. This is our thing, and I am not too old to learn something new. A lot of very smart people here. And, uh, well, let's take advantage of that, honestly. Speaking of taking advantage of people getting together, honestly, which we all need to do, more of you should be getting involved in... Um, in my chat room on my website, traderschoice.net. I continually have to open up spots. Every single time I add spots to that chat room, it costs me money. So please take advantage of that. There's, there are some spots open now. Just go over to my website, traderschoice.net, and go check out the chat room. A lot of cool people there. So I hope you're taking advantage of that as well. All right, I, with that said, look, I'm out of here. I will see all of you later. A big, huge thank you again to those of you who support my work. And if you haven't as of yet, but you'd like to, there's a link in the description of this video to, to do that. I'll see you later. I'm out of here.